Well, good Friday afternoon, UITPC. This is Dave coming to you from the Maryland side of my life. Uh, it means a few changes. One, there's no Tetons out there, and there's no bull moose out there, and there's no grizzly bear out there. It also means that the wife is here, and there's no smoking in the house. So we will be out here on the porch. We'll be out here on the porch or out back at the uh, fire pit, and we'll do both. It's a little warm for the fire pit. I apologize for the cool look, but the sun's right in my face, and uh, I've been buried in catch-up paperwork, so I'm pretty much still in my pajamas. Before the day got completely away from me, I wanted to say hi. I feel pretty connected with most of you at this point, or a lot of you. So I've been trying to get back on your videos this morning. I've been uh, pretty much in the truck the last three days. It's a three day drive from the Wyoming house to the Maryland house. Essentially three 800 mile days. Uh, the first day is a little bit shorter because it stops in Denver where my son lives so I can have dinner with him and spent the night at his place and he got to see his dog for a few hours. Uh, day two is from Denver to St. Louis, and then day three is St. Louis, pretty much to Washington, D.C. I told you I don't tra travel my pipe, so this is my Maryland pipe. It's also a Marishon, just like my, uh, my Wyoming pipe. This is a bent apple, I believe. It's also a Meerschaum. It's from the Meerschaum market, Meerschaum.com. Uh, I haven't smoked this thing in two months, but you can see it's pretty, getting pretty patinaed, pretty carameled up like the other one, just from use. It's the only pipe I smoke in Maryland for the same exact reason and the only pipe I smoke in Wyoming is that one, um, just to keep the patina going. I'm smoking some burly morning pipe. It's kind of hard having two different sellers because they're different. I learn about different blends and brands at different times throughout the year. And so my sellers in the two locations are actually quite different. So part of what I'm gonna do over the next month is take the lessons learned I had out in Wyoming and bring them into this cellar. I'm lucky enough not to be blocked up with a bunch of neighbors. In fact, what I'm gonna do right now is set the pipe down and pick you up. I'm gonna do a quick 360 around my front yard and then we will do a, a backyard tour at another time. Take you down the stairs. American flag, first and foremost. That's sort of my side yard. My wife gets all the gardening credit. I've done none of it. But you can see we don't can't really see anybody except one house back there. That's Ed, a good friend of mine. You can kind of keep going around and you can kind of see how far how far we can see. Down there you see my shed. Uh, we used to have a horse back there. He's now on the horse farm. And that's really it. And then could pan across the front of the house. And there's my smoking perch right there. And that's where we're gonna go back to now. So I always do uh, did the property tour on the Wyoming house. So I'll do some more of them here. I'll set you back down and see how that looks. Oh, that's good. Let me get the pipe back up. So we live in a suburb of DC. It's uh, Calvert County, Maryland. We're about 30 miles from the White House. For the last 30 years, we lived in this house. We had it built in 96. And we raised both our kids and I grew my company and served as county executive. Um, 
Here we call it the president of the Board of County Commissioners. It's one of the oldest styles of government in the United States. Did all that from this house. So this is definitely home for the family. The Wyoming side just occurred two years ago. So 30 years here versus two years over there. So this still feels like home, but I do love it over there. It's a little bit different for me. It's 70 degrees here versus 10. I left Wyoming, it was 10 degrees, and I got here, it was 70. In fact, it was warm almost all the way across the country. All the way across Colorado, all the way across Kansas, Missouri, Indiana, Illinois, uh, West Virginia, and Maryland, it was been it was in the 70s, most of the way across the U.S. And for it to be that in the mid, in mid to uh, November is really, I think, quite unusual for a lot of these places. So two of you guys have started something that I really like, and that's uh, either Wheel Gun Wednesday or Freedom Friday. I think it's important. I think the flag's important. I think. Uh, having the right to bear arms and, and actually executing that right. It's something I think is important and something I hold dear. So I'm gonna back that up and show you my everyday carry, my EDC. And then we'll work our way through the, uh, through the arsenal as the weeks go by. Um, so I carry, this is what I carry. This is a Sparks holster. I like the leather. I like it that it warms up and actually absorbs some of your moisture. And this is an inside the waist, so you put it inside your waistband and your belt runs through these loops. Um, I like that. Some people don't like it. It's not very convenient, but I like it because no one's going to take the holster from me. They'd have to take the weapon out of the holster, which, trust me, they would find difficult if they got near me. But what do I carry? Um, this is loaded, so let me, I'm going to pop this loose. So it's now unloaded, but this is a Glock 43, not a Glock 43X. The X has an extended handle. My wife actually EDCs the Glock 43X. I do carry a red dot on it. Um... I'll have to get it set up so that you can see the red dot. There you go. It's a motion activated red dot pointed right at me. But <clears throat> this is a very concealable weapon. Here in the uh, People's Republic of Maryland, we are restricted to 10 round magazines. So there is a 10 round magazine in the weapon. And then I carry a second 10 round magazine all hollow point uh, with me. So I have the weapon and the second magazine is secured in the holster. And that is uh, my preferred weapon to carry. Um, I figure if I can't deal with something with 10 hollow points, I'm probably deserved to get shot myself. Um, it's extremely concealable, con extremely light. Um, I'm a Glock man. Um, we can argue about types. It's like arguing religion in my opinion. But I am a Glock man uh, and have been for a couple decades. I really don't have too much else to say. Um, Three full days on the road, pretty much 12 hour days. Ranger rode the entire way with me, so he's here at the house with us. Uh, so we now have three dogs here. I'll append a little dog napping uh, quick video on the end of this so you can see all three. But it's good to be here. This will be where the holidays are. Uh, my son Sean will be flying in from Denver on Tuesday and spending a week with us for 
Thanksgiving. It'll be the first time we're without our daughter. She's chosen to stay at school. She's just too busy. And then we'll get them both back here for a month for uh, for Christmas. So to have it in the family home and have the family together, it's a big deal for us. That's really it. I just want to say happy Friday. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, hope we can all take the time to slow our lives down enough to enjoy the next seven to ten days. I think, uh, I think that's what uh, pipe smoking is a big part of it is all about is slowing down to enjoy the pipe. Slowing down to enjoy the lifestyle around that pipe for that, hopefully that hour a day. Hopefully they're not rushing through the rest of our normal routine while trying to jam a pipe in. I think that defeats the purpose, but that's me. But if we can take the time to take that attitude for the next 10 days and really enjoy family and the holiday week, I think that is, um, it's really important and it's something I intend to do. So I hope you can do it as well. So you guys, I think that's it. I'll uh, go ahead and load this up and maybe we'll get to see you again tomorrow. Maybe I'll show you the backyard and the, and the fire pit. All right, you guys, have a good weekend. Bye.